Hey, what's up, y'all? Just making sure I jump into this video, man, because you get a different box when you start getting these <laughs> retro LeBron sneakers. And this is the LeBron 2. It's a really interesting box, man. It has all of those markings, those kind of tribal markings that look like basketballs um, that are on the shoe. The laser etching It's a real throwback to 2004 when um, LeBron was able to compete against Maccabi Tel Aviv. And I'm looking inside the lid for a stamp. I'm actually going to pull the shoes out. So they are definitely tough to get out of here. And I'm just trying to make sure there's no QC stamp or sticker. And like all LeBrons, there's no QC stamp or sticker. So let's pull this out before we jump into this and start moving any further. Get the shoes out. The LeBrons, man, obviously, they harken back to a different time. And in 2004, everybody was wearing the baggy clothes and, you know, the two, the big triple XL t-shirts and stuff like that. So you had a completely different look that was happening. Now, the funny thing is, the new LeBron, the new LeBron, if you look on the inside of this shoe, you can see kind of the same material, the sphere material that's in the Nike, the LeBron 20. I did a video on that and you can go and look at it, but the same way the lining of it has the sphere kind of lining with the holes for the mesh so the shoe is breathable, it's even more important on this model because of the heavy leather and mesh that's on the shoe. His shoes look like boots. They look like boots. They felt like boots. They matched the time. I mean, these are gorgeous though, man. It's one of the coolest looking Nike shoes that you'll find. The strap here, I'm pulling this off because a lot of people don't even realize that the strap comes off completely. So you can take the strap off completely, right? And um, that's just one of those extra features. And then you get to see the really nice laser etching of the LeBron lion on one side and you have the LeBron logo on the opposite side. And then there's just some small details on the shoe that are fantastic. Uh, King under the foot here, King, I'm gonna look at the left shoe, James. King James on the opposite shoe on the bottom. Um, I'm looking at the markings on the outsole just to make sure. I haven't seen this shoe in so long. Man, that, you know, just actually seeing it again is kind of stunning. And, and su not surprising, LeBron shoes don't do so well as retros. But this is one of the more nicely constructed, or nicely designed. I won't say constructed because when you start pressing on the leather, you can see it bubble up. You can see it bubble up and you know that this is a coated leather. It's got PU on the top of it. But even on the midsole of the shoe, you actually have leather around the midsole of the shoe. I haven't given you any details on this model yet, and I am going to, so just stick with me. I'm just making sure I talk a little bit about it. So uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv is a team that plays in the uh, Euro League, and uh, LeBron, uh, they played Maccabi Tel Aviv in 2004. The irony, um, 2014, David Black left Maccabi Tel Aviv, where he helped them win a championship, and coached the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, we know what happened with that with David Black, but it's a nice connection to the shoe from 2004 to 2014, and now the retro is releasing, and there is an additional bit of information about Maccabi Tel Aviv. Um, the first basketball game played against a EuroLeague opponent was against Maccabi Tel Aviv, and they beat the Washington Bullets who had just won the NBA championship. Bam. Um, bam. And so I think that was 1978. I don't have the stats here in front of me, but I will do a close up on this shoe. I want to get close up on it because there's just a lot of great details on it. But um, let's go to the tongue first and the box itself and give you guys some information here. It's the Zoom LeBron 2. The color is white, metallic gold. Style code is DJ4892100. Um, of course, you know that there's a chip underneath the label. 
The last three on the UPC code is 008. And I go to the back of my tongue so I can read this information off the back of the tongue. The small code is VO2 that's made in Vietnam. And uh, dates of production are 11, 17, 21, 2, 04, 19, 22. So those are the quick details that I wanted to give you. I want to get to the close-up so you can see the little details on the shoe. So let's do that. Let's get to the close-up. And then we'll wrap this video up. Close-up. This is your close-up of the LeBron 2 Maccabi Tel Aviv. And I gave you a few interesting facts about the shoe. I am going to open up the strap because there's no way I was going to do a close-up and not give you that image, which I think a lot of people ended up getting this tattooed on them when this shoe came out. And I think probably LeBron has tattoos like that, but I don't check for dudes' tattoos like that. I ain't that kind of, you know, yeah, anyway. Um, I love this leather that's down here around the midsole on this guard that comes up. This shoe is a great looking model. It doesn't kill in like resale, but let me move this and go to the tongue, give you a close up of that tongue. So you guys can see the Nike that's on there. I don't want it to go out of focus. And that laser etching is such a good looking model, man. And in particular, right, the fall, which is when I, I got this in, is the fall. This thing is perfect to replace a boot. Now, yeah, you're not going to have as much traction as you would in a pair of Timberlands. But, man, you can't tell me you can't throw on some jeans with these and rock them. Um, I did want you to see the detail. I love the leather strap here, and it's removable. But I wanted to get close up on the interior and show you how it looks a lot like the sphere um, on the LeBron 20. So I know the LeBron 20, a lot of people haven't seen it, but I did a video, so you can go to that video and check it out and watch that. But... The reason they have these like air pockets is so the shoe is breathable. So the sweat will go in through the mesh and then be absorbed into the leather. And that'll make it kind of heavier as well. But um, I wish I had something to test how breathable the shoe is, but I don't. But I can do a spin and give that look to you. The big Nike there. The swoosh on the right shoe. On the strap. LeBron, and I thought it said James on the opposite side, but it does not. Your aglet says King James on the opposite aglet. So just really nice, small details on the shoe. And I do, I still think it's one of the best looking versions of LeBron's signature series, which all of them look a lot like boots, but he's a big dude, so it's understandable. Full in zoom. It's a great model. It's the great model. So you got King James on the right shoe. Well, you got King on the right shoe and James on the bottom of the left shoe. That's it. Let's wrap that up, man. It's a lot of details. Long video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.